If you're looking for a liquid end at a lesser price, an amino acid end is not for you. <laughs> I mean, I just want to be upfront. Like it is more expensive, but why do we want to go with that? Again, fitting our ethos, we're not trying to compete with liquid urea, but we want to offer something for those guys who are just like, man, I'm trying to grow corn, you know, or I'm trying to grow tomatoes, or I'm trying to grow carbon load, and I'm just want biomass, but I don't want to use synthetics, right? Well, this product that we've come up with, like all of our others, we've added those goodies, the trace, the um, smooth spray technology to this. So it's going to go right through your sprayer, no questions asked. But it, amino acids are really interesting because they're the building blocks of protein in plants and now, within relatively recent years, right, it's been found that plants can absorb amino acids directly. And it's a far less stressful conversion to plant protein because you're basically taking the building blocks of protein and it's already in that form, right? So it's like starting a Lego set halfway through um, versus when you take it up in, uh, say, inorganic form, which plants are still going to do because the nitrogen cycle was happening when the dinosaurs were here. Like, I'm not, but when they take those off, that can be a much more stressful conversion to take, say, nitrate all the way then to a plant protein. Um, and that's where a lot of times people will get into, you know, making sure your nitrogen to sulfur ratios are correct for, for uh, things like uh, nitrogen or protein synthesis, excuse me. So by going with a Regen N, it's very gentle, but it's very powerful, right? So, um, you know, it's a non-burning nitrogen. It's going to be readily absorbed through the leaves um, and the roots. So you don't have to worry about, oh, does it, if something gets on the ground. Um, it's obviously, you know, if you have a thatch buildup, uh, you could use this to help, or at least a little bit of this to help break down that thatch. Anytime you're putting an organic nitrogen down, um, it's going to help. Well, any type of nitrogen, but certainly this will, and it will also reduce the uh, volatilization or leaching because it's in an amino acid form. Um, so again, faster uptake, less energy waste, fuels plant protein production, um, can act as a stress defense because the plant's not wasting energy. Right? This is efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. You want to talk about big bucks, you know, you hear some um, really intelligent people talk about one of the things that's overlooked a lot of times about what impacts a deer's rack is, you know, nutrition and age, all that stuff to be talking about. What about stress, you know? Well, plants are no different. You know, you want to talk about what can impact a impact plant. Well, well, certainly stress. If they're worried about trying to get you know, nitrogen conversion in a drought or something like that, and we can reduce that at all within our power, you know, we're not mother nature, um, that can be very impactful.